The television series Scene is based on a popular nightclub in the Tampa Bay area and the learning experiences of a bartender named Kelly. We created a story based on different trials Kelly experiences and how she reflects on a number of management principles that apply to real-life situations she and her co-workers face. Our group approached the project with a simple goal, to illustrate the concepts of management that we learned throughout the course. We accomplished this by presenting them in realistic situations encountered by our characters, the employees of Club Scene. Through collaboration and communication, we were able to succeed in our goal. Meet Team Super 6. First, we have our team leader, Mike D'Angie, who is pursuing a bachelor's degree in information systems here at USF. He's a Colorado native and a proud husband and father who also aspires to be a small business owner. Next, you have myself, Greta Riley. I'm a 31-year-old wife and mother who is pursuing a bachelor's in accounting here at USF. I'm a New Jersey native, and I also have plans to pursue my master's degree in accounting. Next, we have Sarah Hogan, who is pursuing a business finance degree here at USF. She's also a former college softball athlete and an Ohio State fan. Next, we have Caitlin Coleman. Caitlin is a Mississippi native, but has traveled quite a bit with her military family. She's currently pursuing her bachelor's degree in business here at USF. Then we have Melissa Peril. Melissa is pursuing her bachelor's in finance here at USF. She is a Florida native and also aspires to have a career in corporate finance one day. Last but not least, we have Mike Eckley, who is a Florida native and pursuing his bachelor's in business here at USF. Mike is also an entrepreneur and owner of an online internet-based clothing and print company. We decided to include a cast of dynamic character roles. Each of the characters we introduce to the plot brings along their own unique personality. Of course, with a diverse group of people also comes a number of challenges. As with any good story, the writer wants to keep the attention of the audience. And we did so by bringing together a cast of characters that are relatable yet interesting. As you will see, some of the characters have very different personas and values, which obviously affect their outlook and work ethic. To display a number of management concepts, we allowed them to show the audience both their strengths and weaknesses. Conflict brought upon by the main character's unfavorable behavior has resulted in the creation of additional characters and their development. To display key principles of management, we illustrated how the manager of scene applies leadership to her decision making. We also see the lead character's questionable decisions and how they will affect the group of coworkers in the way that they resolve the issue. Meet the characters who set the scene of scene. Here's Kelly. Kelly is an outgoing person that enjoys being the center of attention and the life of the party. Her questionable decisions tend to affect those immediately around her while also jeopardizing those relationships. As Kelly is not intentionally trying to neg negatively affect those around her, Selfish tendencies guide her decisions and actions. Stacy is an introverted personality and is more comfortable in the shadows. She rarely takes the lead on anything outside of school. Stacy is a dedicated follower. She excels in her studies, which is reflected in her high GPA. However, her reserved personality and lack of real world experiences leaves her naive to the world around her. As a close friend of Kelly's, Stacy will go out of her way to maintain their friendship, 
even if it means frequently enabling her friend's poor decisions. Miles, a highly motivated individual who aspires to be in management, currently working as a bartender at Scene Nightclub, his strong work ethic and ambitious attitude are easily recognized by his peers and employer. Miles conducts himself in a professional manner in all aspects of his life, which will bode well for him in his future endeavors. Sarah is the manager at Scene. Her reserved personality is sometimes perceived as a weakness, but can actually be considered a strength as this is part of her analytical approach to everything. Her experience at Scene is only a stepping stone toward her ultimate goal of owning her own business. Carol is her older sister and closest confidant. Whether it be a serious issue or a difficult decision, Carol is always there to listen and advise her younger sister. As a manager herself, Carol is familiar with the challenges associated with the position, but lacks the patience exercised by Sarah. Carol perceives everything in terms of black and white and allows policy and laws to define how things should be done. In episode one, we highlight the management concept from chapter one of the management textbook, The Nature of Management. More specifically, the primary managerial functions, managing entrepreneurially, and managing change are key focal points demonstrated throughout the show. The setting for episode one is at Scene, a popular nightclub and bar in St. Petersburg, Florida. Similar to any other business, Scene has established goals and objectives it must meet in order to remain competitive and maintain within their industry. Meet Sarah. Sarah is the manager at Scene and is tasked with carrying out the goals and objectives at Scene. As a result, Sarah must effectively and efficiently perform the four functions of management, which are planning, organizing, leading, and controlling. Sarah's approach to this as a manager is done by assembling her team to discuss the goals, how each person contributes to these, and providing support as a manager and a coach throughout the process. Additionally, Sarah provides guidelines, parameters, and scope for the team to ensure each task is carried out accordingly. Sarah knows that she and Scene Nightclub must stay current with the demographic they serve. Like a Las Vegas odds maker, Sarah manages strategically and entrepreneurially with regard to the local college sporting events. Tonight is a huge homecoming matchup for the local college football team. She knows a win on their part could also equate to a win for scene if she plans accordingly. Fortunately, this evening was a sure bet as the local team just won in a landslide victory. Quickly, Sarah assembles her team and communicates her plans toward corralling as many of these excited fans and players into Scene Nightclub. Hours later, it appears Sarah's plans are a success. The nightclub is filled to capacity and the atmosphere is electric. However, an unexpected change could derail tonight's festivities. The resident DJ hired for the celebration must leave immediately. This change must be managed swiftly and without a hitch. Otherwise, the energy within the nightclub could shift, causing people to leave. Sarah is patient, unsettled, and carefully thinks through the situation with an analytical approach. She quickly realizes that Miles, her bright new bartender, is a quick learner. Coupled with his consistent confidence, Sarah takes another gamble and goes all in on Miles. Once again, Sarah makes the right choice as most of the patrons are oblivious to the changes. Similar to the celebrating crowd and scene, Sarah and her team are also celebrating a victory. They met the challenge they sought after and once again make scene nightclub the talk of the town. Much of their success can be attributed to the various roles Sarah must take on. As a manager, Sarah must be in an informational, interpersonal, and decisional role to properly align her team's efforts with that of the organization and the ever-changing landscape of the market they work in. In episode six, the management concept being portrayed is from chapter 10 of the management textbook, Groups and Teams. 
Throughout the episode, the definition of groups and teams and the progressive stages of development are the focal points being demonstrated. Albeit only three people, the formal group of Sarah, Kelly, and Miles make up the employee base at Scene Nightclub. As a small group, each of them are responsible for completing various tasks that may not be considered within their normal duties. This group, like many others, has shared objectives but lacks the strong interdependence and interaction of that of a team. Realizing this, Sarah knows that this condition will not be sufficient for the busy, upcoming spring break week. Sarah understands the dynamics and behaviors of groups and teams, but knows she must increase her workforce to contend with the demanding crowds of the spring break season. Stacy, a good friend of Kelly, is always helping around the nightclub and as a means to hang out and hone her social skills and status. Sarah has observed how well Miles, Kelly, and Stacy interact with each other, betting on how well their personal behaviors may translate into positive and productive professional behaviors, Sarah offers Stacy a temporary position to help them get through the demanding week. Sarah assembles the group and introduces Stacy as a temporary member for the spring break week. Additionally, Sarah outlines the roles and responsibilities of everyone with the expectation of increased efficiency and less workload for everyone. At this point of the group's development, the initial stage of forming has been completed. It doesn't take long before old habits from Miles and Kelly reemerge. They each become scattered and are trying to start many tasks without completing any. However, it doesn't take each of them long to remember that Stacy is here to help. Unfortunately, the assistance they request from Stacy is based solely on the tasks they prefer not to do. As a result, Stacy is busy retrieving, organizing, and cleaning for Miles and Kelly, while her primary duties are left undone. Sarah happens to notice the frustration from Stacy and quickly realizes what is happening. The team is experiencing the storming stage of group development, where unresolved conflict is being experienced among the team. Assigned tasks and the mindsets for each have become skewed and Sarah must quickly realign them. She assembles the group and is clear, concise, and specific about each of their duties going forward. A day has passed and the realignment conversation with the group appears to have worked as tasks are being completed and positive behaviors have reemerged. At this point, the group has reached the norming stage of development. Each member now identifies the collective as a group and a degree of cohesion is apparent. As tomorrow kicks off the beginning of spring break week, Sarah knows that that will be the real test of the group's bond and performance. The first day of spring break has arrived and Sing Nightclub appears to be ready. A few hours into the evening, it is obvious that the group has developed an interdependence with each other as their individual actions complement those of the group members. Using the cash registers as one of, metric, one of the metrics for performance, the group is now performing and exceeding the hourly revenue expectations. This is an indicator that the group has met the next stage of development, performing. A few more nights pass and the results are consistent. Revenue targets are, exceeding the, uh, are exceeded and the positive group energy is being absorbed and appreciated by the patrons. Sarah has been monitoring this from the beginning and continues and comes to one conclusion. She no longer has a group. She has a high-performing team. Sarah then realizes that by the end of the week, the team will be adjoining as spring break ends and Stacy's tenure will end. Spring break has ended and Sarah has to make a decision. Should she disband her productive team or should she find a way to maintain the success each have shared together? When you have to make a decision that involves others, that's management. When you oversee a series of employees, that's management. When you're leading a group of friends, that's management. Management is a broad concept that takes many forms that are not always immediately apparent as being a management concept. However, you can find examples of management concepts all throughout life. The principles and concepts that managers use can be applied in many different fields in all aspects of daily life. Concepts such as groups and teams, planning, structuring, leading, motivating, communicating effectively, and making decisions help us every day. Through management of resources, we ration what we need so as not to be wasteful. 
Management of time keeps us on track, Man and management of emotions keeps us in check. Everywhere you look, there are forms of management going on, from a government level to the individual. So to be successful in life, one should be a good manager.